To measure the voltage on the output of a VFD, simply connect your meter between two of the output legs. Then you want to select AC. I'm going to go with 600 volt. And when we start our motor, we got negative 530 volts. How can you have that on a 240 volt motor? And this is an exercise that we go through in our training class. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences in a brand X meter, which is currently showing 740 volt negative AC. This Fluke T6-1000, which is currently showing 108 volt AC. And this Fluke 87B, which is currently showing 178 volt. Now this video is not sponsored by Fluke, but I do have to thank them for loaning me these meters and I have to thank Electrical Equipment Company who connected me with Fluke to make this video possible. To measure the VFD, let's slide the cover off. And then behind our control terminals, there's a second cover. And that second cover is there for a reason because there is hazardous voltage there. And I've already turned the power off to this trainer. I'm gonna pop that off. On the left side of the power flex, we have R slash L1, S slash L2, and T slash L3. Now this is a single phase drive. So notice there's not even a screw on that T slash L3, but here's where your incoming power would come. And we'll measure that just as usual with our meter in AC voltage. On the right side and even above it, it's labeled motor. We have U slash T1, V slash T2, and W slash T3. And these are our motor leads. Now for this video, I have actually disconnected the motor. It will not affect the voltage that the PowerFlex puts out. And I've already wired all three meters that we're gonna be looking at to T1 and T2. And I've set up the PowerFlex 525 so it's displaying the motor output voltage. I'm gonna hit the green button and the voltage is gonna go up to 105 volts. And on our brand X meter, we have 676 volts negative AC. On the T6-1000, we're showing 107 volts, which is pretty much matching what we're showing on the PowerFlex 525. And initially I was confused on the 87B because it's showing 179 volt AC. And when I reached out to Fluke to ask them about the discrepancy between the 87V and what the Allen Braley PowerFlex 525 was saying, they pointed me to this document that talks about the low pass filter that they use to measure the VFD output. And I'll link that document in the description. You'll get a more accurate reading out of this 87V compared to what you're actually seeing on the PowerFlex 525 screen. Now, I'm not gonna knock this T6-1000 because honestly, this is becoming one of my favorite meters. And it does say 108 volts here and 105 volts here. So they're very close. But I am gonna knock this brand X meter that is currently saying a negative 775 volts AC. This is one of my favorite exercises that I do with my technicians when they come to our training. Now, I'm not gonna give you a lot of details on how we end up into this because you may end up being in my class one day. But in the end, they need to take this Brand X meter and check the output of this PowerFlex 525. And they end up showing like 780 volts or something crazy. And they're like, well, there's got to be something wrong with the drive. There is nothing wrong with this drive. It is all about this meter. Now, I'm not getting paid by Fluke to say you shouldn't use the Brand X meter. But as I get further along in my career, I realize that we need to use good tools. And especially since maybe we are dealing with 780 volts, we need to be using tools that are gonna keep us safe. You know, in that exercise, the next piece of it is the motor is burned up. And I don't know, would y'all like to see a video on how you would test the motor to see if it's burned up or not? If you do, go ahead and put that down in the comments. Thanks again, Eco, for making this possible and Fluke for loaning me these meters.